Hey everybody, welcome back for episode 15 of Rattle Together. I'm Miss Burns and this is where we achieve success through respect, ambition, tenacity, trustworthiness, loyalty, and empathy. Today I've got some really fun things lined up that I am positive will work. And that is very exciting for all of us. Um, let's jump right in. Oh, before we do that, riddles. Okay, so yesterday's riddle was, what word is spelled wrong in the dictionary? That sounds silly. How can the dictionary spell something wrong? Hmm, unless the word is wrong. So when you look up wrong in the dictionary, W-R-O-N-G, it is spelled wrong, because that is the correct way to spell wrong. All right, now for today's riddle, which is, you ready for this one? I'm thinking, okay. I am an odd number. Take away one letter and I become even. What number am I? I'll say it one more time. I am an odd number. Take away one letter and I become even. What number am I? Be thinking about that one for tomorrow. And the the little key to this riddle is think about the words that I used. All right, it's time for our Chris Lejackin. Here we go, here we go, looking at the chrysalids. My version of zooming in. They're just hanging out. No changes, still shiny, still just sitting there. Is that the map? Trying not to disturb them. So far, so good. All right, now, yesterday, before our failed science project, Ms. Taylor, by the way, she let me know that you could potentially do the project a little bit differently, and I'll stick that in the... Um, what is that? The description, the video description today, um, what Miss Taylor sent me. I did try it the second way and it still didn't work, but maybe some of you will have luck where I didn't have luck. All right, and we also forgot to check in with our plastic, our milk plastic. So I'm gonna just do that right now. Now this is the little spiral that I made, very hard. Feels like plastic, looks like plastic, and the dinosaur, our little stegosaurus here, he got stuck to the paper towel, so I'm going to try and get him off. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, I should definitely have put him on a, um, I don't know, on the plate or something to dry instead of on the paper towel. It's kind of cool though. It looks like he's got scales that are kind of peeling off a little bit. Doesn't he look kind of cool with his paper towel stuck to him? But again, it is plastic. It is hard. I can kind of bend it. It's a little, oh, I just broke it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I didn't break it. It's a little bit flexible, but don't, don't go too crazy or you would break it. But listen, that's what it sounds like. Who would have thunk milk and vinegar would make something like this? And I think later on I will stick something through it and make a little chain. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. Like a necklace. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Now, today's science project is so cool. Guys. I am going to... Uh-oh. My bag is... I'm going to use this paper towel to wipe down my bag. Because it, I guess, it was a little leaky on the top. So for today's science experiment, all you need is a Ziploc bag halfway full with water and some sharpened pencils. That's it. Um, if you do this project, you should do it outside or over a sink just in case. I brought in a tray that's on my desk just in case, but I did try this earlier and I want to tell you, it's exciting. Plastic bags are made out of um, a, something called polyethylene. And those molecules, we've talked a lot about different molecules lately, but those molecules are like strands that fit together like this. And when it's held nice and tight, like the water is weighing it down and you're holding it up here so it's tight, um, whoa, 
and you stab something through it really fast, what happens is the strands, they separate. They don't break. So like my thumb would just go right through. It doesn't break, it just separates and then it creates a seal around the thing that went through it. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna stab some pencils right through this bag and see, you ready? If it leaks or what happens. One, two, three, bam. Oh my goodness. Nothing, no leaks. Again, nothing. And again, this is so much fun guys. I just have pencils all through my bag. Let's go this way this time. This is so cool, isn't it? Nothing is leaking. There's no water dripping. If I had made these holes before I filled the bag, trying to, I don't know, trick you, then the water would have leaked out as soon as I put water in it. Um, and if it wasn't being held tight, it might also leak. Should I do one more just for fun? Ready, set, hoya! Oh, I've got one more pencil. Whoa. So much fun, guys. All right, so give that a whirl uh, if you have grown-up permission and supervision. I am going to put this on this tray and just kind of lay it on the floor next to my desk for now. Whoa. Sorry, he got to see my bum in the air probably just then. Oh, my shoulder hurts. It's a little heavy. All right, now moving on to our little craft. We're going to make a paper sculpture today. Now for this, I would recommend using old greeting cards or um, a cereal box, like a bunch of cereal boxes. You have to cut them up um, because what you need is something called cardstock, which is a slightly thicker paper, slightly thicker. I bet you could do this with regular paper. Um, it just might not be as easy. So here's what we're making. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but it's pretty cool, right? Now, to make this, oh, there's a piece of aluminum foil stuck to it. To make this, what we need are five large squares and four small squares. I'm going to tilt this down. Now, I just happen to have my paper is squares, but, they're not perfect squares, um, and I guess that doesn't really matter. You need five large and, um, and four small. You can, if you remember how to take, remember, when, if you wanted to make this into a square, you would just fold that corner down. Can you see me? Can you see me? Line that edge up with the edge. We've done this before. Press here, pull back, do that, and then you would cut here, and then you would have a square. Okay, so if that's what you need to do, do that, and then for your four smaller squares, you would just fold your one of your big squares, so it would then make six big squares and fold the, the fourth one into quarters, which is what we're gonna actually do right now. So I'm gonna take this square, and I'm gonna fold it into quarters. And to fold it into quarters, and you can do any shape actually. If you wanted to fold this into triangles, you could, whatever. Have fun, guys. Do your thing. You could even use rectangles, who knows? Why not? All right, so my squares are not perfect, but I'm going to fold it. So I'm gonna line up this edge with this edge as perfectly as I can. This is really off. And then I'm going to press from the middle out and both sides. This is how I'm making my four small. And I, I can see that like, see how it's not perfect there? And also, actually that side, yeah, up there. I might trim it. So you'll, yeah, sorry, you need scissors. Scissors and paper. I'm just trimming those little bits off because, you know, that's going to bother my OCD a little bit. Boop. Good enough. 
And so now it looks like this. And now I'm going to fold it from top to bottom. It's probably, again, going to be not perfect. We will see. We will see. So again, I fold it edge to edge. I'm dragging my finger to the middle, pushing out, pushing out. This time, this time it actually is pretty good. Oop, pretty good. So now I'm just going to cut on my creases, and I will have how many small squares? Four. Right. One, two, three, four small squares, and they um. I don't know what I was going to say, guys. We're just going to go with it. So this is divided into fourths or quarters, and I'm going to cut my four squares. Four squares a game that a lot of you like to play, huh? I wonder if any of you are still playing four square at home, if you've got some chalk that you used on the ground outside your house so that you could play four square with your siblings or something. All right, now we've got our five large squares and our four small squares. You're going to pick any one of the squares to be the main, the middle one that you're not going to do anything to. So just pick a square and set it aside. So this time I'm going to go with this color. I'm just going to set it aside. Boop. Okay. Now for the rest of your squares, you want to fold them in half again. But this time we're going to make triangles, a triangle on top and a triangle on bottom. So I'm going to fold corner to corner this time. So I go corner to corner, and since my squares are not perfect, I'm going to end up having to cut them again, just to make them not perfect, but better than terrible. Oh, this one's actually pretty good, guys. My last ones were not. It's got like goo on it. It doesn't really matter. So it's folded like this. See? And all you're going to do now is take a pair of scissors and cut like this as far up as you want to go. With the big ones, I would go at least, ready, take your scissors right in the middle. And if you want, guys, it, let's do this because I think it'll help some of you. So I'm going to do corner to corner again, but with the opposite corners. Corner to corner. Press down in the middle, out on each side. So now I have this line to use. And I'm going to go all the way to like here. See, so there will be like just a little bit left at the end, a half an inch to an inch left at the end. So just like that. And then, looks like this, put it aside and do that to every other one. So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Corner to corner. Slide. Slide out. Slide out. This one is not perfect. But it's okay enough. And then I'm going to open it up and do corner to corner. Ah! Corner to corner. Slide. 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 Not the electric slide. All right, and then I'm going to cut along that line to about there. Put that down. Do another one. Let's go, let's go. We are rocking it. Corner to corner. Slide. Slide out. Slide out. Open it up. This corner to this corner. Go. Corner to corner. Slide up. Slide out. Slide out. Mm -hmm. And cut. Uh-huh. Along the line. Just like that. Put it aside. Last one. Ready? Corner to corner. Here we go. Corner to corner. Slide it out. And slide it out. Open it up. This corner to this corner. Ready? And slide it out. Slide it out. And then cut it. All done. Now I'm going to do the teeny teenies. Same exact thing again. So, corner to corner. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm like a broken record today. Corner to corner. And slide it out. And open it up. And 
and corner to corner and slide it out and slide it out and now we cut this time Still a little bit left on top, closed. Yeah, see? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again. So again, corner to corner, slide back and out to the sides, open it up, opposite corner to corner, slide it out, open it up. Don't open it up, pick it up and cut. Don't leave. Don't cut it all the way, just cut it part of the way, or most of the way. Two more. We got this, guys. Woo, buddy. We can do it. If you are fast forwarding, I am understanding. No problem. This one to this one. We got it. Under controls. This brings to silly accents that aren't real accents. And then we're going to cut it. And one more time. Here we go, corner to corner, slide it back and out and out, open it up, opposite corner to corner. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Slide it out, slide it out, and cut. Whew, we made it. We've got all our uh, squares prepared. Okay, so now, ready guys? We're gonna take the, the one that we didn't hold. This is our main one, it's gonna be this way. We're going to start, just pick any one you want, and slide it on, just like that. Push it in as far as it goes, and take another one onto the corner, slide it on as far as it goes, and I am just doing it on the corners. Oh, this one is coming out a little different than my last one, which is fine. It's going all the way in, whereas this one, I must not have cut as far. See, and it has more space. Very, very cool. So they're all unique, guys. Now over here, next corner, slide the paper on as far as it will go. And then do your last one. On the corner, slide it in. Look at that. This time it looks like this, whoops, when we look from the top. And the other one is a lot different. Oh, and you can like kind of manipulate it a little if you want. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing with our teeny ones. Go to the corner, slide it on. And you can change how open or closed it is, see? Again, go to a corner, slide it on. Whoa, this is so much fun. Corner. Slide it on. If you have trouble sliding it on, get a grown up to help you, but you also might just need to kind of move it a little at the. See how I can kind of spread it by just pushing it up with my finger? And you bit it. Okay. And that's it. Look at how cool that is. And I like that it's different than my first one. So that's paper sculptures, and you can do it with whatever shapes you want. Whatever size cuts you want, whatever whatever you want, guys. It's awesome. So exciting. What a fun episode today. And not crazy long. So that will make Ryan Burns happy. Oops. There we go. I'm just going to find my chair here. And now we have the contact me portion of the day. So please email me. Email me pictures of all the projects you're doing. Email me answers to the riddles. Email me everything, guys, or post it on Facebook. I want to see what you're doing. I want to feel like I'm actually communicating with you. All right, so email me. My email is rburns, R-B-U-R-N-S, at K-U-S-D dot org, O-R-G. Uh, Facebook, we are rattled together on Facebook, so you can just type that in, or you can do F-B dot M-E slash rattle r-a-t-t-l-e together to get her t-o-g-e-t-h-e-r and you can message me on that same page but if you want to type it in the long way it's m dot m-e slash rattle together period r-a-t-t-l-e to get her t-o-g-e-t-h-e-r period i hope that you guys are all happy and healthy and safe i miss ya i love ya 
See you next time. Mwah!